On August 16th of 2009, Usain Bolt ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty good for a human. Hello, my name is Jeff, and today we are covering not one of the fastest, but the fastest land mammal on Earth, known as the cheetah. These big kitties can be found in the grasslands and savannas of Africa. There are five species of cheetah. The Sudan cheetah, the Northwest African cheetah, the South African cheetah, the Asiatic cheetah, and then there's the East African cheetah, also known as the Tanzanian cheetah. It's got a lot of names. Which just so happens to be the largest cheetah of the five, measuring between 6.6 .6 and 7.2 feet long. The word cheetah ultimately comes from the Sanskrit word chitta, which means spotted one. But enough about names, let's find out what helps these living missiles hit their mark. Number one, vision. Unlike most other big cats, cheetahs hunt in the daytime, generally in the early mornings or late afternoon. They usually will climb onto a small hill or even a termite mound. What? Oh, come on. After they've picked their perfect location, they use their sharp vision to locate prey. Once they spot their target, which usually is the slowest or weakest of the bunch, it's go time. Cheetahs have distinctive tear mark lines that run from the corners of their eyes down to their mouth. Looks like your mascara is running. These marks deflect the sun, making it easier for the cats to hunt during the day. Without the sun's glare, they're able to zero in on their targets. Number two, camouflage. It's not a secret that cheetahs have spotted coats. That not only helps them hide when they're stalking prey, <laughs> but it also keeps them safe from predators. Now everyone's gonna know. Again, no secret. But did you know this? The spots aren't just fur deep. Their skin has black spots also. In addition to spots, cheetah's cubs have what looks like a full body mohawk called a mantle. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. This long bristle of hair runs from their neck down to their back to the base of their tail. This mantle makes the cubs look like honey badgers and helps them blend into tall grass. This camouflage protects them from predators like hyenas and lions, because even if one of those predators saw them, who would want to mess with a honey badger? Ooh, that would be a good animal to cover. Number three, speed. Okay, here's the good part. Cheetahs are able to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in only three seconds. When racing at full speed, they cover about 25 feet with each stride. And that's because their feet only touch the ground about twice during said stride. But as awesome as this superpower speed is, there is a kryptonite to it. You remember kryptonite? It's the cheetah's stamina. Although their top speed is impressive, they can only hold it for about 30 seconds. Because of this, it's not surprising that after the big chase, the cheetah needs about 30 minutes to catch its breath before diving in and eating. Also, cheetahs tend to limit chases to a distance of less than a thousand feet. A thousand a day, a thousand the next, a thousand the next, how many thousand? Since doing any more than that would create too much body heat that would be very difficult to just release through panting and sweating through their paws. Oh yeah, cheetahs sweat through their paws. Have you ever shaken a cheetah's paw? Very clammy. Number four, paws. A cheetah's incredible speed is a product of how they were built. Their long legs help them race fast and move over great distances, but it's what is at the bottom of their legs that really helps. Their semi-retractable claws that are more dog than cat-like act like cleats, helping the big cat gain traction when running and their hard paw pads function like rubber on a tire. They have larger than usual nostrils to increase the flow of oxygen and their large lungs and heart circulate blood very efficiently through their body. And although that heart engine is amazing, if they don't have good paws, it's gonna be hard to get that traction and build up momentum. Number five, aerodynamic. How do we know they were built for speed? Well, cheetahs are made with aerodynamics and a lightweight frame as proof. Weighing in at around 125 pounds, its muscles don't have to carry much weight, translating all that power into acceleration. 
Their long legs help them race fast and move over great distances. The cheetah also has a muscular flat tail that functions almost like a boat's rudder, helping them stay balanced and literally change direction in midair. Then there is the cheetah's small head, flattened rib cage, and slender legs, which minimize air resistance. Once it reaches top speed, unique design features help to maintain it. Along with its flexible spine, the cheetah also has pivoting hips and shoulder blades that are not attached to the collarbone. This allows the front and rear legs to stretch further apart when fully extended and then move closer together, making that 25 foot stride possible. I mean, look at that. Their feet are in the air more than they are touching the ground. No wonder they move so fast. Number 6. Hunting A cheetah's top speed is around 75 miles per hour, so if you are a cheetah's target, there's a good chance you're not going to get away. Cheetahs are carnivores, and they dine on small animals that they can easily chase and kill. That includes small antelopes like Thompson gazelles and springboks, as well as rabbits, porcupines, and ground-dwelling birds. And I know I brought this up earlier, but they do tend to target the weakest and the slowest of the bunch. Hey, this isn't a race to see who's the fastest between a hunter and the prey. This is survival. A cheetah's final attack is just as quick as its speed. After the initial chase, the cheetah knocks its prey to the ground, knocks its prey to the ground, knocks its prey to the ground, and then latches on to its throat. After their rest time, they eat the meat quickly, before more aggressive predators like leopards, lions, baboons, jackals, and even hyenas come around and force them to give up their food. <laughs> They're a lover, not a fighter. Or more so a runner, not a fighter. I mean, they can even get chased away by vultures. Although cheetahs are fast, they're not very strong, nor are they aggressive enough to drag their meals very far away or guard them from these more fierce competitors. Number 7. Sound Speaking of fighting, there is nothing scary about the noises a cheetah makes. Unlike lions, which are known for their ferocious roars, <laughs> cheetahs tend to sound more like your average house cat. They meow and purr. They also make chirps and churring sounds. There are four big cats that roar. Lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars. And although cheetahs are, quote, big cats, they are considered to belong to the purring cats subfamily. And as such, do not roar. Well, it's no wonder that these massive cats are able to move so quickly. I mean, I'd move fast too if I had built-in cleats, a more flexible spine, and then there's that whole running on all four legs thing. Anyway, if you were stranded in the Sahara with no weapons or tools and were being hunted by a cheetah, what would you do to get away? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the episode, show us some love by hitting subscribe and smashing that like button. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time as we cover another amazing animal.